Ho, ho, ho! Merry, nearly Christmas! Welcome back to Vlogmas Day Two. Today, I'm so excited because it's a real-time recipe, and you guys know how much I love cooking. We have a little Christmas twist to this. I'm wearing my pom-pom party top, which Portia and I bought together downstairs in the mall, and I got this. So I'm gonna be, like, making a noise throughout this whole vlog. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. we're on to day two guys so underneath in the description has the full timetable of what to expect over the next 12 days if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up please hit the subscribe button and comment down below to let me know how you're finding it what you want to see how you're getting on this 12 days is all about fitness health lifestyle and basically that run up to Christmas how to stay healthy and happy that brings me on to today so Portia's dancing behind the camera. It is cracking me up right now. Today's recipe is a healthy alternative to your Christmas Day starter. It's also vegetarian. So for all of my veggies out there, I hear you guys. Well, I'm technically pescatarian, but I eat loads of vegetarian meals. This one is for you. Even if you eat meat, it is delicious. We are making halloumi bruschetta. All my Italians out there, I really hope I said that right. So let's get stuck in. I'm going to show you now what ingredients you need down below. Super fast, super simple. Okay guys, so you are going to need a quarter of a chopped onion and two cloves of garlic. Here I have around two handfuls of mixed tomatoes, mixed cherry tomatoes. I love these ones because obviously aesthetically it's pleasing when they're all chopped up, but also it adds different flavours and sweetness. I'm making a lot of bruschetta, so bruschetta, not bruschetta, bruschetta. This is halloumi. Now, in case you don't know guys, fact of the day, as you know, I'm half Cypriot, and when it comes to halim, halloumi, depending on if you're saying it in the Turkish or the Greek, there are different types of halim slash halloumi. The harder one, which is the more salty one, so you can feel it just from squeezing it, is the one that you grate onto pasta, okay? The softer one, the one that is more common, is the one that you grill. So when you're buying your halloumi, give it a little squeeze. Don't buy the wrong one. For this, you're needing the soft one because we're grilling it. On to the next thing. Here I have made up a balsamic vinaigrette, which I'll show you guys another time. I thought this video would be a little bit too long if I show you what goes in that. And then I have a really thick rye bread, which I bought from the local bakery. This place is absolutely delicious. Have a large handful of basil. You also need this. This is extra virgin olive oil, and it comes from a family friend's farm in Jordan. So I really wish you guys could get your hands on it because it is delicious, but just find any, any nice one. Right, so first up guys, what I'm gonna do is chop the tomatoes. You want them to be pretty small and with all the seeds coming out because that's gonna add the flavor into it. I've already chopped the onions. This is possibly the most tedious part, but it's so worth it when you taste this. Right, we're gonna fast track this. So that is going in there. You can see all of the juices already running through. Oh, I love it. I just love it, guys. I love food. So next up, we're going to focus on the halloumi. So you want to cut this really quite thick, guys, because this is going on top of the bread. So it will take a little bit longer to cook, but you want it nice and thickly sliced. And over on the hob, I have already warmed up some of the extra virgin olive oil in a pan. Smells really good. So good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bringing the onions back over. As I said, they're not like really brown, they're just slightly soft. It smells. Oh my gosh. It smells like an Italian restaurant. I'm gonna add that into the onions. And then we're gonna add the basil. What I tend to do when it comes to basil is tear it. Now I know to a lot of people that will sound really silly, but when you're tearing it at an angle, it helps release all of the flavors and also the smell. So you can literally just tear this and this smells honestly absolutely incredible, doesn't it? Oh, such a fresh smell. Oh. I love it. 
So literally just tear, doesn't matter if it seems messy guys, because we're gonna be using our hands to mix all of the flavors together. That is such a Mediterranean thing. We're now gonna add a tablespoon-ish. As you guys know, I don't really measure all that often, I go by taste, but a, roughly a tablespoon of the extra virgin olive oil. I'm actually gonna go a tablespoon and a half, just because I love it. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of mixed herbs. We're gonna mix it together. Okay, so here I have Himalayan sea salt, so just a little sprinkle of that. I try not to have too much salt. I love salt, but I try not to have too much just because I get fluid retention in my legs and my ankles, so I get really puffy like a 70-year-old woman, so I have to cut out quite a lot of salt in my diet. And then I have Italian mixed herbs here, just a little dash of that, not too much because it will take over the flavor. And then we're gonna mix that with your hands. Oh yes, and you really want to mix so that all of the flavors are mixed in together. Oh wow, that smells so good. So we're gonna add in to taste a pour of the balsamic vinaigrette because this also has a bit of olive oil in it. So it's entirely up to you guys. Start off small, mix, taste, then retaste. And you don't want it to be too soggy. What people tend to do is add loads and loads into it and then it ends up soggy and it just sinks, sinks, sinks through the bread and it, yeah, it's not good. So we're gonna mix that in as well. Using hands, using a spoon, whatever works for you guys. I'm gonna taste test. Speechless. Oh my God, I'm really good. <laughs> so now we're bringing out the bread knife and we're gonna chop the bread ready for the sauce, the halloumi to sit on top of it. So I chop my bread pretty thick for bruschetta. That does mean that it tends to not fit in the toaster when you're toasting it, but you can just grill it guys, literally a couple of minutes on each side. And oh my gosh, this bread is so fresh. Rye bread above everything. Now I'm gonna get the halloumi, we're gonna toast this up, and we're gonna pop it all together. Literally, 10 minute dish, it's so easy. 